Our next franchise on offer for your investment consideration, well, let's just say it has a clever name and it's making its mark in a vital but narrow niche. It's the brothers that just do gutters. Like the name says, its primary focus is in restoring the gutters around your house. And with a niche so narrow, you might think the brothers that just do gutters would be tripping all over themselves, essentially competing against themselves. If that's what you think, then take this assurance from the brothers themselves. Developing a potential brothers gutters territory, there are four main areas of research. Potential buyers, qualified individuals in your territory, owner-occupied dwellings with individuals between 35 and 75 years old. Competitors, it is more important to know the competition within an area before establishing a territory for your business. Costs, what is the local market price for similar services and products? And location, establishing your business in the heart of the most qualified and prolific market within the designated territory. There is so much more for you to know about becoming an owner or investor in a Brothers Gutters franchise. Let's take a look at the brothers that just do gutters. Hi, my name is Ken Parsons, and I'm with the brothers that just do gutters, and I am a senior solutionist. Um, I was approached actually by somebody in the gutter business and had asked me while I was at, in a teaching job. And then that summer I had uh, been working because we have off in the summer, but no, I didn't. When I first started out, I knew that I still had to pay some bills. I was framing and this guy asked me again. And I said, you know what, framing as opposed to gutters, I think gutters is probably a lot lighter than carrying lumber. I took him up on the offer. And then uh, that summer I worked with him and I saw a little bit of his lifestyle and how he lived and what he had and what he did and I was like, man, this is, seems like a really nice business. A couple years went by and then Ryan was in between jobs. He didn't want to do construction either and I said, hey, why don't you come and work for me until you find something. My name is Ryan Parsons. I'm with the Brothers at Just Do Gutters and I'm the Chief Solutionist. I was uh, a fine art graphic design major and he basically uh, was trying to recruit me. He knew the company I was working for wasn't doing well, um, that I really wasn't making any money at all. And eventually I said, you know what? I need to save some money, move on with my life. And I actually went and I worked for him. And I basically told him I'll work for him until I find a real job. So I'm still looking for a real job. No, so we did, we just like two brothers, just like when we were kids, like doing chores, it kind of felt like the same. Just us going out, having fun, doing gutters and things like that. But it kind of just, it started to evolve. Um, I brought some skills to the table I didn't know I had. I didn't know I had a mind for business and systems and what I was striving for. Um, and then what he was striving for was awesome too. He always had a vision that was so much bigger than just you know two brothers that were going out in the truck and installing gutters so together we were able to kind of build a company um, through the process of franchising and growing our business in the meantime we really um, we really just wanted to help other entrepreneurs or future on, entrepreneurs develop have, buy a business system that helps them achieve the lifestyle that they want and get the time that they want because as an owner installer, you never have time. Never have time, I don't care what your business is, you have to be there every day. Um, you start believing stuff like, if I don't do it myself, it doesn't get done right, or you say things like, stay small, keep it all. Those are all lies. They're all lies that we tell ourselves because we tried one time. We used to have two crews and it was nothing but headaches. And you hear it all the time. So it became our mission to really educate and teach people that there is a better way to run a business. That you We spent eight years working on the franchise part of it. And what we've developed is a healthy mix for somebody to not own a job. The last thing I want to do is have somebody come to us and say, hey, I like being outside and gutter seems easy. I'd love to buy a gutter business. That's not our potential franchisee. That's somebody who's going to end up owning a job. We want somebody that wants to own a business. And when you own a business, it runs without you. For you, I think somebody told me uh, a few years ago, they said, you're, you're really a business owner when you can walk away from your business for at least six months and it runs without you. 
And that stuck with us, and that's what we've strived to do, and we've tested it. Ken and I used to not go on vacation together. And man, like if I'm on vacation, I'd have my cell phone with me the whole time, you know, just so I could be there for now. This year, we both went away for three weeks together, and we actually checked in with the office. Hey, how's it going? And, and they're like excited. Oh, we're hitting our goal. Our production's up. Blah. And it's such a pleasure to have a business that runs that way. And I know for a fact we can teach others how to do it, especially through our system. And what took us so long is we wanted it to be awesome. We didn't want to have guys out there just struggling. We wanted to be able to help them. We're there and helping them with their goals that they set and we're helping them achieve them. Um, so we're completely committed 100% to making it as easy as possible for them and that they can concentrate on, on really just developing um, people in their business. The qualities I would love to see in a future franchisee of ours is passion. They have to be passionate about business and building something that's truly amazing. They have to work really hard. Uh, one of the, I heard a really cool thing, maybe at one of those seminars that I went to, that a lot of people buy a franchise because it's turnkey. And what they don't realize is that you have to turn that key every day. And that stuck with me because it's not just, oh, here's the box of our system, have fun. While we have that, it's you have to do it every day. So we need somebody that's passionate, willing to invest in themselves, high values, high character. And that's kind of what we're looking for. Somebody who's good with people, has good character, is passionate about business, and wants to be loyal to the brand that we've created and, and be able to do something great uh, with their uh, territory that they buy into. Here are some of the numbers, the stats you need to consider an investment in one of these franchises. Liquid capital required, $100,000. Net worth required, $250,000. Total investment, $108,000 to $170,000. Franchise fee, $40,000 to $60,000. If owning your own franchise is your aim, the brothers that just do gutters may be a worthy goal and the Small Business Network can help. All you have to do is drop us a line here at the Small Business Network, info at sbnfranchise.com. That's going to wrap things up for this edition. I'm Brian DiNovellis and I hope we've given you something today worth considering for your investments now and for the future. We hope to see you back here for our next edition. Thanks for making us part of your regular viewing habit. We'll see you next time right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs.